Hi, welcome to Mario Cast, the piano podcast. I'm your host, Mario O'Hara. In today's episode, I want to demonstrate for you one of my favorite programs to use as a pianist and a piano teacher. And that program is Home Concert Extreme. Home Concert Extreme is a software program that is available on both the Mac OS X and Windows XP platforms. Probably the best way to describe Home Concert Extreme is that it's a learning and practice and performance environment for pianists. In a nutshell, it takes any general MIDI file and turns it into a smart accompaniment in the Home Concert Extreme program so that it will follow the pianist playing, whether it be a, any fluctuations in dynamics or tempo. But as we'll see in my demonstration, there is a little even more to it, the program, than just that it uh, follows your playing. What do you need to run Home Concert Extreme? Well, you need a personal computer running one of those uh, computer operating systems that I mentioned earlier, either Mac OS X or Windows XP. It would probably be helpful if you had a portable computer, whether it be a laptop or I believe a tablet PC would work fine just because you could have the convenience of placing it on top of your uh, piano uh, you know, where the music stand would normally take place. What kind of piano do you need? Well, it would help if you have a digital piano that has MIDI in and MIDI out functions. The piano that I'm going to be demonstrating on is a Yamaha Clavinova. It doesn't have to be all fancy with all these buttons and um, LCD screen on it. All it needs, again, is the MIDI in and MIDI out functions. There are even ways of uh, hooking up the computer and the Home Concert Extreme program to an acoustic piano, such as a grand piano or an upright piano. Uh, uh, some models, such as the Yamaha Disc Clavier, I've heard uh, the program used in conjunction with those type of instruments. And it's really cool. You get the best of both worlds there, where you have the um, acoustic sound of the piano, uh, but also the versatility of the MIDI capabilities of the Home Concert Extreme program. So with Home Concert Extreme, you can open up any general MIDI file or any standard MIDI file. If you go and if you purchase this program, uh, there are many that are provided by such publishers such as Alfred, FJH, Hal Leonard. There are even uh, quite a number of standard MIDI files from Roland and Yamaha as well. I'm going to open up this uh, particular uh, MIDI file for the Arabesque by Berg Miller. You can even create your own MIDI files, but for in order for it to display properly, as you see here in Home Concert Extreme, uh, to have separate tracks for the treble and bass staff, the left hand and right hand need to be recorded on separate tracks. If you look at the top of your Home Concert Extreme window, you'll notice there are three letters. There's an L, there's a J and there's a P. The L stands for learn mode, J stands for jam mode, and the P stands for perform mode. We're going to look at the learn mode first. So I'm going to go ahead and click play and it's going to start the MIDI file. And you notice that those blue, each measure that it was on was highlighted in blue but it stopped there automatically on the first uh, chord because I haven't played it yet. So once I play that chord, then it moves on to the next chord. If I play anything other than that, those notes on that particular point in time, it won't move on until, until I go on there. that the page is turning automatically for me so I don't have to turn pages or anything like that. Another helpful tool in this learn mode is the on-screen keyboard. If you click on the little keyboard at the top of the page, woo, look at that, there's an on-screen keyboard that will display everything that you're playing. And another neat thing, it even illustrates a graphical representation of uh, the key velocity or how hard you're hitting each key. Now what's neat in learn mode is 
when I go ahead and click play, notice that on the on-screen keyboard we have uh, the keys that you're supposed to be playing at this particular point in time uh, lit up in red. So that prompts the student or the pianist to play those particular keys. So that's another helpful tool for practicing away from the piano lesson. And again, you'll notice that uh, we only display one staff at a time now, so the page turns automatically uh, at a point that is most convenient for you. When you set the Home Concert Extreme program to jam mode, it will keep a steady tempo no matter if you play wrong notes, right notes, or play faster or slower. The accompaniment will just go at whatever tempo that you set it at. The Perform mode is probably the most fun one to play with. In this one, it will sense your dynamic changes and your tempo changes and adjust the accompaniment accordingly. Now, if you make an occasional wrong note here or there, it won't stop just like it did in the learn mode. It will keep on going so it isn't so uh, sensitive in that regards. Let me play it one time with you in the perform mode to illustrate to you the uh, versatility of this perform mode. wouldn't want to change the dynamics and the uh, tempo that um, uh, dramatically, but that just shows you how uh, smart this uh, particular accompaniment is. Another neat thing about Home Concert Extreme as far as it being a learning tool is that it saves all your performances automatically uh, in the perform mode. Here you'll notice on this particular button that I highlight over here, uh, that's the performance playback button that will replay the very last performance. So I can actually listen to what I just played by pushing this button. And also if you look over here, you could see the fluctuations in tempo too. You know, I was playing too slow there, 80%, 90%, and so forth. So it's really good to go back and see, oh wow, wow, I was playing that section way too slow, or I was playing this section way too fast. Or if you just like to have that nice retardando there, that's okay too. You can even watch the keyboard down there. See if your dynamics or your uh, key velocities are too strong, like in the left hand or the right hand. Yippee! Some other features that are pretty neat on Home Concert Extreme, there's an onboard mixer where if you wish to turn down some tracks that may be a little bit too annoying to you, you can turn those down. Or you can even turn off all those extra accompaniment tracks and just have it play the piano part by itself uh, without any accompaniment to it. If you want to ch change the size of the notation to fit whatever your eyes can most handle, you can do that as well. I'm displaying the largest notation, so you notice that only displays 
uh, five or six different measures here at a time, but I can fit more measures by changing it in the preferences to medium notation or even a smaller notation. So you can have a, a greater overview of what the score uh, looks like. You'll also notice that there are no fingerings or dynamics or articulation markings uh, in this particular notation. That's because they are general MIDI files and usually don't contain those specific types of information. However, the Home Concert Extreme program allows you to edit the uh, um, notation so that it displays whatever dynamic markings or um, articulations that you want to have. So for example, if I wanted to create a crescendo here or put in a crescendo marking, I would select this particular region. I would go to the Edit menu and go to the Region Markers. Oh, where do I want it? Above the staff, below the staff, or in between the two staffs? I'll do between the staff markers. Dynamics, I could do a regular crescendo um, text symbol, or I'll just use the traditional uh, crescendo symbol here. And boop, wow, look at that. There's a nice, beautiful crescendo there that I can have my students or whatever pianist that is going to be playing this to follow. You can even add your own fingering with a few keyboard shortcuts. Say I want to add the fingering for this chord. I could do one, three, and five there. Looks pretty like that. You can even leave comments or any type of text comments for your student or yourself. For example, just go to upper staff or lower staff marker. You can select text comment. Then you can type uh, don't play too loud, stupid. And yay, it says don't play too loud, stupid there at that point. Not that I condone calling any of your students uh, stupid, all right, but uh, uh, you could put in any other in type of uh, probably less negative comments at that particular point or any place in the score. So that was just a short demo of some of the basic features of Home Constant Extreme. If you really want to get more um, information on this program, I would go to their website, which is www.timewarptech.com. They also have a fully functional demo, which you can download for free from their website, although it has all the features that I demonstrate to you, but it will only work with a select few uh, MIDI files. But at least you could have a little bit more of a hands-on uh, experience with the particular program, and I think you'll fall in love with it uh, just like I have. Stay tuned for more episodes of The Piano Podcast. Until next time, I'm Mario Harrow, and keep practicing.